practicing a step there, sir. Hello, sir. How you doing, Sorry man? To interrupt. My How you doing? Would you be willing to come up and chat with my supervisor? Absolutely. Nelson? Thank you. All right, nice talk. Nice talking with you. Hey, Sarge. Today? Yeah, sure. What, what, what happened? He was driving out here and he was um, hurling abuse. Who was? This gentleman in the truck okay. here. Okay. He was hurling abuse at the people here. And I said, don't be a coward. Come out here and argue your point. Mm -hmm. So he parked his truck and came out and then we had to, well, he screamed at us. He wouldn't argue okay. his point. But. Okay. That's, that's, has any officer spoke with you yet? No. Okay. What, can I get your first name? Sure. Friend, please? I appreciate it. First name? S-Y-E. S-Y-E. T-E-N. E N capital B mm -hmm. R U G G E N C A T E. It's all on camera, by the way. Okay, no, that's fine. So, was anybody ever physical with each other? Was it just no? Guys well, just being some horrible? of the some of the escorts stood between us, mm -hmm. and they might have brushed him or something. I don't know, but okay. uh, I don't think no, no, nobody was physical. Okay, and what uh, church are you with, sir? I'm from Canada, actually. Oh, awesome. But I'm awesome. with Apology at Church, who, who's out here. So okay. You know what time you got out here today? Um, I'd say about um, 8.30, quarter to 9. Okay. Have you ever been here before? I have, yes, a couple of days ago. Is it usually like this to you? Or no, actually I had a good conversation with Errol the other day and also with Jocelyn as well, which is also recorded and it's also online. So. Okay. All right. So basically all we have is just verbal going back and forth. That's it. Well, it wasn't much forth. I wasn't with back, it was mostly uh, forth. Okay. <laughs> it was mostly him hurling abuse. And I would love to have a conversation with that gentleman, but um, okay. but, but he won't. Yeah. I don't know. Him. No, I would love to because I love him. That's why we're here. Okay. Right. But we, we would advise again. I understand that, man. But the thing is, I'm not here to take your advice. Right. I'm here to do what the Bible says. Right. Okay. We're, we're speaking to the opposite. I understand so that. So we're... He has to be willing to do that as well. What's that? Yes, I, I understand. You know That's I mean? fair. I'm not going to force myself so, upon him. Sure. You know how long you're going to be here today? Well, I'm not sure. I don't know how uh, long the rest of the group, but I imagine that myself and the camera crew will be packing up in about an hour or so. Okay. But once my supervisor's done, we'll figure out what we can do. For sure. And you said you're what church again? Apologia Church. Apologia? Yeah. Where's that base set up? You know, you'd have to ask one of the other fellows. I'm just a, I'm, I'm just a... South, north or south. Yeah, Apologia. I just punch it in my GPS and then I go. Do you have any kind of Christian background at all? I do. I'd encourage what you to go a, there. A, He's a great preacher. What about, um, so that's a, that's a pretty long trek for you to come down here from Canada, huh? Yeah, well, I, I love the unborn. I flew, actually. I was actually in the east coast of Canada doing uh, some teaching people how to defend their faith for a week, and then I flew out here for a week. So. It's a pretty rewarding career. No, not really. No? Why would you say that? Well, you can see the abuse that's hurled upon us. I was a boiler operator by trade. Mm -hmm. I was making all kinds of money going scuba diving every year. Mm -hmm. It's been nine years since May, and I haven't been on a vacation. I went one week to Holland, but that was it, so. Think we're done with this for investigative purposes? You know, I think... Uh, I think there are other ways to be happy. I don't do this to be happy. Mm -hmm. I do this because it's right. And I think, you know, history will reflect that as well, that there are some people who stood against the murder of the unborn and some people who stood for it. And I think that people will look back at this time in history and just be amazed that there are people who actually stood for and supported the murder of the unborn. I think that would be just, I think it would be unheard of. So, when you usually do this, do you stay in one location? You go up and well, the thing is, in Canada, it's different. In Canada, you cannot get within a, a block of the abortion clinic, and most of them are in hospitals. Okay. But here, I believe that they just stand at this location. How are you doing, sir? Good. How are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, so go ahead. Yeah, he, there's... A, I'm just listening. Yeah, just, just verbal at this point. That's all we, that's all we got. So. It's all recorded, too. If, if there's no. any question about that, you can... I, I, just yeah. making sure with me, I understand it's recorded, so but, that's... And I, I'm going to convey to you, and you can pass along to your people if you want, just mm -hmm. like I can convey to this gentleman here. Okay, I'm not emotionally involved in this. 
okay? I wish you were. <laughs> no, you know what? Not my fight. Because you know what? It's legal. And that's all we yeah, care about. Killing okay. Jews was legal, no, too, sir. Just let me finish what I have to say, mm -hmm. and then, you know, we can talk. It's legal. Right. That's all we care about. Then you guys, it's legal what you're doing. As right. long as you aren't disruptive, as long as you don't come on property. We understand that, sir. Once that happens, we get involved. Mm -hmm. and that's what people are alleging here. Okay? Right. But again, we're not emotionally involved. I don't care, you know, if we can't figure it out, if people, if we get people that says this is disruptive in mm -hmm. nature, and we get witnesses that say it's disruptive to the peace and the business owners, someone's going to go to jail. That's fair. Okay? Yeah, that's fair. So, and the other thing I conveyed to him, you have, you have your b belief system, okay? And I don't care what this guy says to you. Mm -hmm. He's never going to change your mind. Okay? That's, that's correct. Okay? <laughs> and some of the people, you don't know his story. Actually, I do, sir. Well, whatever it is, you are not going to change his mind. I know, so, I can't change his mind. God right. can, though. So let's God just can. walk around, hold up your signs, do your chance. I love him go. enough to tell him the truth. That's your truth. No, truth is not arbitrary, sir. Okay, I'm not going to debate you. That's fine, that's fair. Okay. He doesn't believe in it no matter what, so let it go. Well, I've seen a lot of people in his situation who've actually been saved, so there's well, hope. There's right. hope. But we understand each other. I appreciate it, and, and I'm sorry that you had to come out here today because uh, we try to We're abide by the law. I, I understand that, sir, but I, we do appreciate the work you're doing. Because the thing is, if someone were to come down, then you know we would ask for your protection. So I, I do appreciate that uh, what you're doing. Thanks okay. very much. So just don't block the driveways. Don't come on property. Stay on the sidewalk. And we'll be fine. I appreciate that, okay? sir. Okay. Have a good day. Thanks. Thank sure, you. Sir, Apology at church. Check it out. <laughs> Excuse me.